Hello and welcome to the Adderies. Well, Matt, thank you for joining us today on the show. It's uh, uh, very good to have you in here today. And uh, the first question we wanted to ask you was, can you just tell us a little bit about your coaching journey? Yeah, I guess um, I guess I like most most like most males that end up involved in the sport. It's, it's we take our children to their own sport. Uh, we become involved as part of the parents, and then as the children grow up, and you realise, well, I actually enjoy this element still. Um, we get further involved. So. I obviously started at club level, at association level, and very quickly moved into some BNL landscape. And um, I've been involved in BNL and club community, um, men's, men's Australia, mixed Australian for quite some time. What do you enjoy most about coaching? I think it's just more the enjoyment that you watch when the players achieve something they've set themselves for. It doesn't necessarily mean a premiership or a medal or anything of that nature, but. You know, some players set themselves for, you know, I want to score this many goals in a game or I want to, you know, I want to play against my friend here and leave them there. It's just different different levels of athletes want something different and when you see them achieve that and you can see that you've contributed to that, that's, that's the really um, motivating part for one. Yeah. Uh, the Netball Victoria Association Championships are this Sunday and you'll be coaching the 17 yep. and under OF and N team. What are you looking forward to when selecting your NVAC team at the trials? Oh, I think when we're picking for something like association championships, it's a condensed day. Um, there's not a lot of room for um, experimentation and error. Um, you make a mistake in that first one or two minutes and a 14 minute game and the thing can slip away from you. So I think what we look for when we select players and we are selecting them for the day specifically, we're not selecting them for a long term development programs or anything of that nature. We, we try to pick players who can consistently demonstrate you know, the skills that are appropriate for the position that they've nominated. And we like to pick some players with some flexibility where they can play one or two roles because we, we do have to take into account someone gets injured, someone hurts himself, they're not available. It's a big change to make on it with very little time. What's been happening at uh, training so far in preparation for the competition? Yeah, I, I would suggest that what we look at here is that we want to make sure that we can deliver something quickly with the players, we can familiarise themselves with each other, we can, we can build a kind of a game style or some structure that they can execute under pressure. So we obviously focus on introducing players to their role within the group and how and the attributes that they need to deliver to be successful in that space. And we, we don't want it to be too confusing. We're not talking about hundreds of set plays. We're talking about this is what we're looking for in the role. This is what we're asking you to bring. And we kind of build those programs to help build out that that those good behaviours for them. Yeah. You've coached across several different parts of the netball pathway, including being the current coach of the 23 and under squad at the Southern yep. Saints in the BNL. What do you take from that experience uh, when coaching the NBAC team? Oh, I think what we take out of that is preparedness. You know, prepare the athletes for what they're going to get on the weekend. Uh, make it appropriate for the circumstances they're in. Obviously, a BNL program is slightly different. We're preparing for 20 games or 18 games across the season, so you don't have to be up the whole time, but you've got to be up at the right time. I think in, when it comes to this, just having them prepared so the players feel comfortable in their function, they're comfortable in their role, they know what it is they've got to do, and they're, and they're not measuring success on something that's not unachievable. Right? Give them something that they can really focus on and really deliver themselves. Yep. Uh, you've been involved with the Packenham A-grade side, the Packenham Lions A-grade yep. side for the past seven years. Yep. Uh, what do you enjoy about being involved at the grassroots level? I just think community netball and something like football netball for community netball is, is literally where you see the most passion. It's where you see the most involvement from your community. It's where you see the most involvement and dedication from your players. Some players are using that as a platform to help develop for something else. And some that's the pinnacle of their game and what they want to achieve. They want to be part of their community. Some in this case like Packham, you've got, you've got generations, second and third and fourth year generations of players that are playing in front of their grandmother and their, and their mother. And, and they want to achieve the same type of success. So I, I just think it, it's, it's just that community engagement. Nothing, nothing is quite like it. Yep. Uh, you've also achieved a lot across your coaching career. Is there anything else that you'd like to be able to achieve before you finish up? I, in all honesty, I'd love an A-grade premiership. Um, not just because, uh, it, simply because it, it's probably the hardest thing to achieve inside this landscape, this, this environment that we play in outer east here. There's a uh, equalisation process in place. Development has to come across a number of years. Uh, we've invested heavily in our coaching ranks and developing our own junior players, retaining our own junior players. Um, we'd love to see, I'd love to see a win in that space for everyone that's been involved because it is a long-term commitment.
to, to get to that level. Yep. And lastly, what advice would you give to all the players who are playing this Sunday in the Netball Victoria Association Championships? I'd remind them to remember why they started playing. All right, enjoy the day for what it is. Like it's an opportunity to play with your peers in front of your parents, in front of your friends. Um, be a good teammate. In other words, that you know, how, how you guys size will be more successful if they play for each other and they enjoy each other. And for the players who are looking for it as a method to be talent identified, when when you're all playing for each other, you all actually look better. Yeah. Well, Matt, that's pretty much. Everything we wanted to ask you, and we'd like to thank you for joining us on the Outer East Football Netball Show. Good luck for this Sunday, Thanks. and also good luck for the rest of the season. Thanks, Thanks Barry. Appreciate it.